Hi, my name is Henry Avila. I'm with Chevalier Machinery. And today I'm going to demonstrate installing and removing a 14 inch wheel. Let's get started. Let us begin by explaining some of the tools used for removing and installing the 14 inch uh, wheel. Some of the tools that come with the machine toolbox are a 14 millimeter Allen wrench, an ID differential screw, and an OD locking nut. Some of the tools that I've included were a rubber mallet and a measuring tool, a scale. Okay, let us begin by installing the wheel. First thing I'm gonna do is open up my wheel guard. Then I'm gonna clean my uh, spindle nose of any uh, grease or debris that could have been on it. Now I'm gonna thread in my differential screw which is a left-handed screw that threads right into the spindle nose. And we could do this just by hand. First off, I'm just gonna uh, thread it in just a little bit. Now I will install the wheel onto the spindle taper. Next, I'm gonna continue threading in my differential screw all the way down until we get about quarter inch from the face to the top of the screw. That looks just about right. Okay, next, I'm gonna put my locking nut over my Allen key. I'm gonna place the Allen key in the middle, holding my, my ID differential screw in place while I thread on my locking nut. This you're gonna turn left-handed also until the thread actually meets the wheel flange. Then at this point, I'm gonna continue turning my ID differential screw until my locking nut threads into the wheel flange. And as you can see, I've already got it going. Once I have my locking nut threaded all the way down, I could then turn my, the differential screw to the right against the locking nut. Once that's placed, I can then set my Allen screw with the short end into it and give it a couple taps. The wheel is securely attached to my spindle. Now that we have attached the wheel, let me show you the instructions on how to remove the wheel. So we're gonna get our 14 millimeter Allen key, place it into our differential screw in the center. And then we're gonna use a soft hammer to tap it to the left one time until it breaks loose. Once the Allen, you'll see that the Allen key breaks loose, you can swing it back around until it tightens up again. Then you'll feel it get manually tight. Give it another couple of taps until it loosens one more time. This will loosen the wheel from the taper and it also loosens up your, your locking nut, which you can unscrew. Remove the locking nut completely. Then you can remove your Allen key and your locking nut and put it aside. And at this point, you can remove your wheel. That concludes the installation and removal of a 14 inch grinding wheel. If you have any questions, please give us a call.